pretty clean, pretty bright. Had its first top dressing on. Desperate to get the second top dressing on now, and that will be happening in the next uh, uh, few days. It's had its T1 spray, T2 spray uh, due any time now. Look at this in a bit closer detail. So you've got the plants uh, going into growth stage uh, 37. Most of the uh, wheat now is in uh, 37. Uh, early 37. Uh, the ear is just about that point there in the plant. Um, quite small plants this year. I think it's a combination of, uh, well, it's, it's, it's an indication of the, the late uh, season we had. But uh, no, these are quite good, uh, these plants. Quite happy with these. Just thought we'd take this opportunity to look at this uh, uh, drill miss uh, or Skylark um, strip, depending on which country you're in. Let's have a look at the uh, the weed control. You can see the weed control has actually been very good in this crop. It had uh, pendomethylin in the autumn, and uh, what you can see down here is uh, a limited number of um, weeds. This is uh, this this level of uh, weeds and the species of weeds is uh, of no great concern to me. Um, but these spray misses, or sorry, these drill misses, give you an opportunity to see how well the herbicide has or hasn't worked. A uh, bit of fat end in there, a few uh, little pansies, uh, pennycress, one or two of the bits and pieces, nothing of major concern. Okay, this is a plant that's been dissected up further, and you should be able to make out the ear, which is around about 22 centimetres from the base of the uh, base of the plant. And that's, uh, as I said before, that's where most of the wheat is at the moment. Coming on, won't be long before we see the uh, first horns poking out the top of the plant. Then we'll be thinking about uh, an ear wash. Mid-May uh, at the moment, another three weeks, two to three weeks, we should be there. Also, the raven flower covers a multitude of sins. And... Uh, Always looks a lot better this time of year. Let's have a look at these plants in a bit more detail. I've been going on about how they branch out and uh, you can see that these plants are indeed branching out and they've got plenty of buds present that will turn into, into pods and this is where we're hoping we're going to get a um, see an improvement on the, uh, the yield. But it's true to say that the crop is still thin, you know, new plants haven't suddenly appeared but the plants that are there are uh, are looking very good. No sign of any uh, disease, no sign of foma, no sign of uh, um, light leaf spot. A uh, bit early for Sclerotinia to show up. Pollen beetle disappeared, controlled. No pollen beetles to speak of. Um, very happy with this. Could just do with more of it. This is one of the biggest problems we've got with oilseed rape. It's a lazy router and we've got uh, lots of compaction problems at this, this depth and you can see this demonstrated by these uh, roots branching out uh, uh, sideways. Plants are looking quite good as I keep saying. You can see that's a reasonable looking plant. Um, but this uh, rooting issue, you can see it in these plants over here that in the heat of the day, and if you can make out these leaves are starting to droop starting to look a bit thirsty because the can't, plant can't take up uh, water quick enough um, to replace the water that's being translocated out on a hot day. Although it has turned a bit uh, cloudier, we'll probably get a shower later this afternoon.